Good day, everyone. My name is Li Delu from Jiangsu Vocational Institute of Architectural Technology. I'm really honored to have this opportunity standing here to have my presentation for my paper Predict Current Control of the Three Level Four Leg active filter based on in-phase carrier modulation. My paper is named Predictive Current Control of the Three-Level Four-Leg Active Filter based on in-phase carrier modulation. And it consists of five parts. First of all is introduction. Multi-level converter technology reduces voltage stress in the main power device and uh, has less harmonic content in the output voltage by using a material low voltage device stacking combination to become a high voltage converter. Because of these characteristics, three level active filter are widely used. Three level four leg is one of the common active filters. And uh, its modulation strategy has been widely concerned. Common modulation methods include phase shifted carrier PWM method, voltage space vector modulation method, and phase deposit deposition PWM method. Because the phase shifted carrier PWM method has the same reference voltage and the carrier frequency, the output energy and the switching losses distribution of each unit is more even, which is beneficial to device selection and thermal design. Because of its simple realization and uh, the advantages of power balance between units, it has been widely used in industry. SVPWM strategy needs to be located in a specific triangle. In voltage vector space, before selecting special vector synthesis. This method has many voltage reduction uh, has many voltage redundancy vectors, complex calculation and uh, selection, and uh, does not take into account the power balance distribution between the units when selecting special vectors. Phase disposition PWM method has a better harmonic output effect than carrier shift phase modulation, but its carrier is distributed vertically resulting in uneven power between units, which makes it rarely used in practice. My paper is named Predictive Current Control of the Three-Level Four-Leg 
active filter based on in-phase carrier modulation. And it consists of five parts. So in the second part, I will show you the carrier modulation strategy for three-level four-leg active filter. In figure one, that is a figure above, uh, the middle connecting inductor is selected to consistent with the three-phase connecting inductor and uh, LS is a connecting inductor where the internal resistance of the inductor is ignored. Carrier lamination PWM control technology is directly developed from the two-level SPWM. Usually for N-level carrier modulation, the need for N minus one amplitude and the frequency of the same uh, of the same triangular carrier, two sets of carriers distributed in the positive and the negative half week divided into two layers of upper and lower cascades. Modulation of the same modulation wave, so the name. According to the phase relationship between carriers, the control method of the three-level midpoint clamp type inverter can be invited uh, divided into in-phase carrier PWM control and uh, reversed phase carrier PWM control. That is, with a pair of amplitude and uh, frequency equivalent triangular carriers stacked up and down, distributed in the modulation wave of the positive and the negative half wave. When the modulation wave is larger than the upper triangular carrier on the positive half axis, the output is high. When the modulation wave is smaller than the lower triangular carrier in, on the negative half axis, and uh, when the modulation wave is between two triangular carriers, the output level is zero. Inside modulation waves, for example, figure two shows reversed phase carrier PWM control method, and uh, figure three shows in phase carrier PWM control method. Figure four is the line voltage. UAB waveform output by reversed phase carrier PWM control. And the fig 5 is the line voltage UAB waveform output by in phase carrier PWM control. And uh, from fig 6, and uh, FIG 7, the line voltage output during in phase carrier control contains less harmonic current than reversed phase carrier control. After double Fourier analysis and uh, simulation comparison, it can be concluded that the output phase voltage of the two carrier Lamination PWM methods does not contain a constant component. In the phase, <coughs> in the phase voltage of the 
carrier phase control method output. The harmonic energy is mainly concentrated in the carrier frequency, and the other harmonics are mainly integer multiple carrier frequency as the center of the H band harmonics. The magnitude is smaller. In the phase voltage output of the reversed phase carrier control method, there is an H band harmonic centered on the integer carrier frequency with a larger magnitude. At the same time, the line voltage waveform effect of the in phase carrier PWM control output of the same phase stack is better than that of the reversed in phase a reversed phase carrier PWM control. And this paper use the in phase carrier PWM control to control the three phase four leg active filter. My paper is named Predictive Current Control of the Three Level Four Leg Active Filter based on in phase carrier modulation. And it consists of five parts. And uh, uh, the third part, how many current predict control? Predict, uh, predictive current control mainly uses the state information of the current supply time to calculate the command current value of the next supply time. And the APF reference output voltage prediction value. So predict the trajectory of the next sampling circle to compensate for the current and determine the switching pulse of each switching device of the three level four leg. APF so that the output current of the active filter can accurately and quickly track the change of the command current. My paper is named Predictive Current control of the three level four leg active filter based on in phase carrier modulation and it consists of five parts in the fourth part i will show you uh, the predictive control simulation based on in-phase carrier modulation. The principle of predictive control has been discussed separately in the previous section. And uh, a simulation model of a three level four leg active filter using voltage free sensor PQI harmonic detection predictive current control and uh, in-phase carrier modulation is established. The simulation diagram as shown in figure 8 and uh, the three-level four-leg carrier modulation model is shown in figure 9. Figure 10 
show the induction current and the predicted comment current obtained by the advanced link calculated by the PQR detection method. And it can be seen that the predict instruction exceeds the previous switching circle. Uh, switching cycle, but the calculation error of the current inflection point is large. And uh, FIG 11 is the DC side voltage. The lower capacitor voltage and the DC side voltage of the three level APF. FIG 12 is a case where the APF phase output current tracks the phase common current. And FIG3 shows compensates for the current before and after the power supply. As can be seen, the supply current after APF composition is basically a sine wave. The total harmonic distortion rate of the supply current was reduced from 18. 4.5% before composition to 3.76% and uh, the current harmonic component was effectively suppressed. Fig 14 is the APF fourth leg output current tracking the middle common current. And the fig 15 shows compensate for the front and the rear middle currents. My paper is named Predictive Current Control of the Three Level Four Leg Active Filter Based on In Phase Carrier Modulation. And it consists of five parts. From the work all above, we can get the conclusion. Through the analysis of carrier lamination PWM method strategy, a predictive current control strategy based on the same phase carrier modulation is proposed. Applying this strategy, the theoretical analysis and the simulation of the active filter control system of the four legs of the three levels are carried out. The simulation results show that the in-phase carrier modulation strategy output voltage harmonic performance is better. The harmonic component content is smaller. Compared with the SVPWM modulation strategy based on the predictive current control strategy of the in-phase carrier. The physical significance is clear and the calculation time is greatly reduced. And the rapid composition of the of harmonics can be realized. Thank you very much for watching my presentation and never be hesitate to contact with me by email. Thanks again. My paper is named Predictive Current Control of the Three Level Four Leg Active Filter Based on In Phase Carrier Modulation. And it consists of five parts.